Right, we're back in Richard's Apiary, and as I drove in here today, the first thing I saw was a hornet hawking in front of this beehive here. Now, do not worry, it was definitely not an Asian hornet, but it was a European hornet, and Richard says there is a nest just over there. So, hi, Richard, how are you doing? Why are you keeping European hornets in your apiary? My belief is you can take everything out, but nature intended that to be there. So, uh, so my belief is you work with it rather than destroy it. It is totally different with the Asian hornet because they're an invasive species. They weren't designed to be in this country and they're going to cause massive problems for beekeepers. So I've seen lots of wasps around some of the colonies here as well. Bit of a wasp issue. Do you think the European hornet is serving a role in keeping that wasp population down as well? Yes, definitely. Just their presence in the apiary, the hornets themselves, they do do a bit of damage to the polystyrene, but just the fact is they're up and down the apiary, sort of hawking about. The wasp predation is definitely a lot less. Right, should we go and find this European hornet's nest and see if we can have a look at it? Yep, yeah, no problem. Right, Richard has taken me to this old oak stump and inside there is an absolutely massive European hornet's nest. So when did you first notice that the nest was there, Richard? Only about a week ago. And have you been scouting it out recently? Are they busy up there? They're, they're busy, very busy. Busy excavating the, the old tree and taking in whatever they can find. Have you ever had European hornets here before? Yeah, there, there's always been a presence of European hornets, but obviously with a nest so close to the apiary, there is definitely more visible evidence of them in the apiary. And do you see them taking your bees? I see them hawking the bees. I haven't actually seen them catch one. And are there any problems like associated with European hornets? Like what are the downsides of keeping a nest so close to the apiary? Well, as I mentioned earlier, the only the only downside is is they perhaps will chew through into the feeder part of a poly box. Cool. So what's your plans for the nest up there now? Are you going to leave it? Are you going to destroy it? My plans are to leave the nest um, and just see how long it goes on into the winter and just observe it and enjoy it. Now, you promised me that you're going to climb up into the tree and get some close up shots for me. Is that still OK? Yeah, that's fine. But I think you're taller than me <laughs> and you should take the privilege. OK, so I'm going to go up there and get some close up shots of it now. I've not got my bee suit down here either. So fingers crossed they're not horrible hornets, are they? I've, n I've never been attacked or stung by a European hornet. Um, they, they seem to buzz you and, and that is it really. Okay, cool. Well, I'm going to get up there, get some close-up shots and I'll come back and tell you what they're like. So that was a good five minutes we've been filming there and Rich has come down and brought the Land Rover there so I can go up and actually get some really good close-up shots. They weren't overly keen on the camera, a little bit of buzzing around, similar to what you'd get with the bees but they didn't come close to me at all. Very calm, very gentle, and that's even with me going close to their nest and kind of nosing around a little bit as well. So do not think all hornets are bad. We don't like Asian hornets, but European hornets really aren't the worst thing in the world. They do a lot of good for the UK wildlife and they clean up problem predators like wasps.